Yeah. Okay, our goal here is to install this uh, thermal printer. It's a TD4520 by Brother, and it's on our webpage, and it's uh, our, one of our recommended printers. We, we like it a lot. It works really well with this material. So first thing we're going to do here is install the printer and then set up the printer and uh, show how we load the material and um, how we um, calibrate the uh, stencil material. So let's start by uh, plugging this printer in like you do any printer these days. Just plug it in and turn it on and pretty quickly it should be showing up in our devices. Let's go to our printers and scanners and let's see, there it is. We see this printer installing and it seems to be fully installed. I'm using Windows 10 here, which would be a good place to start. Uh, I know uh, nothing about Windows 11 at this point, but most likely it would install the same way. Okay, now that we've got our printer installed, we'll click on the printer and we'll choose Manage, which takes us to uh, this screen where we'll choose Printing Preferences. In the Printing Preferences uh, screen, we're going to do a few things. The first thing will be to check Mirror Image. Uh, that's important that we establish that we're going to be printing our stencils in a mirror image for the best etch quality. Next, we're going to define our, our paper size or label size. We'll do that by clicking on the New button to create a new form. We'll call that, we'll give it a name, we'll call it MNG. new blue for the name of our new material. We're going to change the type to continuous fixed length. We're going to make sure that the size is up four inches wide. And we're going to change the length to 1.5 inches high. So we now have defined our new stencil material. We can click on the OK button and we can, uh, which will take us back to the printing preferences screen. Now we're going to uh, click on this advanced options button. And we're going to change the uh, vertical offset to make sure that we have at least a half inch offset, which will uh, position the, the, the uh, image in the proper place on the stencil. That's 0.5 inches for vertical offset. Uh, we can uh, click on apply and we'll be back to printing preferences. All right, so we've, we've got mirror image checked. We've got advanced options set properly. We've got our new form um, and we're going to now click on the stock tab for the final changes. Um, the first field called method, we're going to change to direct, uh, direct thermal. The second field called type, we're going to change to continuous. Those are the changes we need to make there. We'll click on the apply button and we'll click OK. <clears throat> All right, so now we've got our printer set up in the uh, in the in the driver settings in place for the size of the paper and so forth. So now we're going to see how that uh, paper works in the printer. Normally, these type of printers use roll label material, which goes in here. Well, we don't use roll material very often. Occasionally we do, but for the most part, we use these stencils right here. We don't need these rollers, so we're going to move them out of the way. We move this aside. There's a little lever right here. We push it down. It locks those out of the way. We don't care anymore about those rollers. We're going to go behind the printer, and we're going to feed this paper 
in such a way that the shiny side is up. We're going to feed it through the back of the printer and up under the print mechanism, the print head, so to speak. And it's just right through here. Um, and uh, there is an area that we need to be adjusting as we do this. There's a, there's a couple of little green guides up under here that we place the paper under and we adjust those to give uh, actually no tension on the paper, but just so they guide the form through the printer. We're gonna uh, normally set the, the new form to that front edge right there. That's the tear off edge. So at this point we can close the printer uh, head. And the next step, we're not going to calibrate the form. We've got the form loaded. And uh, normally we would have, if I turn the printer off, turn the printer on, we would have a red light here which says, I'm not sure if I recognize this paper. Uh, so we need, we may need to calibrate it. We do it like this. I'm going to turn the printer off. I'm going to hold this button down with one finger. I'm going to turn the printer, printer back on and hold, holding this button down and turn, until it flashes red. Holding it down, flashing red, let go of it. It's now calibrating the printer. It's now recognizing the form is what it's doing. It says, oh, this is inch and a half high. Okay, so uh, we've now completed the calibration. We know that because we have a solid green light. And uh, so we're, we're essentially ready to print stencils. But the first thing we can do is uh, open the cover and open the print head and spool this paper back to where it was because uh, the calibration process did not uh, do hurt anything with the paper. We can reuse that material. So we'll just put it back through, close our print head, close this cover, and we're ready to go with uh, our uh, label or VIN stencil production. So now we're, we're looking at our mark and guard application, uh, VIN etching application. And uh, first thing we want to do is go over here to settings and select our printer. Make sure we have the proper printer. We're looking for our brother TD4520. We've now set that as the, as the active printer. Everything else looks pretty good. And let's uh, save that. So let's put in a, a, a VIN. Um, and uh, we can do that by just typing in the VIN right here. We could also use a barcode scanner. We'll just type in some characters to see how that goes. So there's a so-called VIN. We'll mark the, check the non-standard block since it is not an actual VIN. Uh, we've got it set for six stencils. And uh, we can tap on the validate button. We now see that VIN down here with uh, six stencils uh, uh, selected. So let's go ahead and print that, see what happens. Okay. okay, the first thing I see is that my stencils, uh, my stencils are printing off center. In other words, we need to move the, the actual image over, at least as I look at it, to the left a bit. So what I'm going to do is go back into settings, and I'm going to set this leading spaces to a larger number. Let's try... What do you think, 15? Sure. And uh, let's save that and let's print five more stencils. Yeah. Okay, as you can see, the stencils are coming out pretty well centered. We, 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 they could probably be moved another character or two, but they're pretty well censored, uh, centered. Let me tear this off. And if you do notice, uh, 
because we set the printer up to be in a mirror image, this uh, this image on this material is is showing as if it were in a mirror or backwards or uh, reversed. And that's correct. So at this point, we would just simply tear off the stencils and we're ready to etch a vehicle.